I think what attracted me to computer science in the beginning was the idea of solving puzzles. In scientific computing, it was important for me to see that role as a way of having impact on your research outside of publishing papers because scientific computing is not primarily about making money. What I've worked on for most of my career is how do you design programming languages and tools that make it easier to solve problems in science and in engineering and in society more broadly. I wouldn't say this about many people, but certainly Kathy has been a key contributor to the Oscar program and pushing the Oscar program forward from her research career all the way up to when she was an ALD. She has the ability to see the whole system approach and see how things fit together and make that vision realistic to people who might not understand. So originally, when I took over as nurse director, computing was mostly about using it for modeling and simulation. And that still is a very important role for supercomputing and, and for nurse. But these data intensive problems combined with high performance computers were something that I think we hadn't really started to appreciate very deeply across disciplines. I think Horst really started that when he came to the lab. But then the other person that I think was absolutely critical in that was David Brown. And when he came in to lead the computational research division, and I think through a series of projects like the camera project that Jamie Sethian leads, really showed people that there are different problems. There was a lot of interest in the idea of trying to leverage our strength in computing and applied math in building new programs across the lab. Whether it was creating the scientific networking division or her advocacy for large-scale data science, for machine learning for science, for the Berkeley Quantum, Kathy was maybe at least a full cycle ahead in her own thinking on every one of those things. The Berkeley Quantum Program, to me, was just an amazing example of really thinking about a strategy that would work for Berkeley broadly. I knew we were facing the end of Moore's Law, and so this can be a game changer if we can really make quantum computing work at some scale. It's not about incrementally making this computation go 50% faster or whatever. It's can we solve a new problem or a problem in a different way by using large scale computing and advanced algorithms. Kathy has done amazing research work. She developed a series of computer languages, unified parallel C and titanium, and she did so many important things in parallel computing. She has had a terrific set of research accomplishments, and I think that they will be growing in the coming years. We're celebrating now, but there's more to come.